Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, we will install a BAMP server on our local machines, uh, local machine. Because, guys, I've already told you that PHP is a server-side scripting language. Then that's why we need a server to uh, work uh, to run PHP scripts on our local machine. So, in this video, we're going to st uh, install BAMP server. So, for that, we will go to Google.com and we'll start uh, right download BAMP server. So download VAMP server, click on this link, vampserver.com slash en. Now it will take you to this website, click on this download button. Now you can see VAMP server 32 bit and uh, PHP version is 5.4. You can see it's uh, 64 bit and PHP version is 5.4 means if you have a uh, 64 bit windows installed then you can you need to download 64 bit otherwise you can download 32 bit i'll prefer this one this 32 bit with uh, php version 5. Point, uh, 5.3 so i'll click on it now first it will ask for this uh, it will show you a pop up box which you can see it's you must install visual c++ 2010 uh, to uh, SPI redistributable package 80, uh, 86 or 80 uh, sorry 64 means uh, if you are using 32-bit uh, windows you need to uh, click on the first link otherwise you can click on the second link guys I want to tell you one thing that if you have already installed uh, if you uh, if your if Visual Studio 2010 is installed on your PC then you don't need to install it this uh, Visual C++ again otherwise you need to click on this link It will take you to uh, Microsoft's uh, website from where you can install the, this Visual C++ 2010. I have already installed it, so now, so I'll click on this. If you do not want to, you can directly, uh, you can download it directly. So I will click on this link. It will take me to this website. You can see your download will start in one second. Uh, now it will start downloading automatically you can see the downloading has been started I'll cancel it because I have already uh, ins uh, downloaded it on my uh, local machine so uh, before uh, installing a VAMP server on our, on our PC on our local machine firstly I wanna show you one more thing guys if you are using Skype uh, on your local p uh, computer what do you need to do firstly open the Skype go to tools and click on this connectivity options then on the connections you will see use port 80 if it is checked then uncheck it because web server and skype both use port 80 for the connectivity if you will check it if it is checked then you will face some problem while using php oh sorry while using web server because uh, it will there will be some kind of conflict you can say with uh, between skype and uh, VAMP server so uncheck it and click on the save button now close the skype and click on this VAMP server set a file click on yes next uh, there is a, a, it is the agreement uh, license agreement you, if you want to read it you can read it and otherwise you can click on the I accept the agreement and click on this next button from uh, here you can uh, set the uh, location of your VAMP server guys I want to suggest you one more thing uh, please don't uh, install this VAMP server on your uh, on, in that drive where the windows had been installed uh, because if uh, your window will be crashed or corrupted then uh, these VAMP server files will also will be crashed so don't install on that P uh, on that drive where the windows has been installed so click on this OK button then next click on next and then install it will start installing you can see now you can see Firefox has been detected on your computer would you like to use it as a default browser with VAMP server 2 click on yes if you want to use it now if uh, window firewall has blocked some feature of this program click on allow access if it is if 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 it will ask for this otherwise uh, sometimes it will not ask click on this next it's smtp local server and email 
click on next and then finish now you can see the vamp server is uh, installed on my PC at the taskbar you will see this uh, uh, you will see this kind of uh, icon you can say it's vamp servers icon if it is green that means it is working perfectly so I'll click on this and go to my PHP my admin now I can see that my, my PHP admin has been opened if it is not green then that means uh, some problem uh, with vamp server uh, so if you face, will face that problem you can go to my discussion forum and you can type your problem then I will try to solve your problem so this is about how can you install VAMP server on your local machine to use PHP uh, from the next video we will start link PHP so thanks for watching this video guys if you have any question you can go to my discussion forum uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see you in the next tutorial